Hi, welcome to Vegetarian Kitchen. My name is Arnie. Today, I'm going to show you how to roast peppers, red peppers, green peppers, chili, Anaheim chilies. I have. Um, we're going. I'm going to make a stuffing for those peppers. I'm going to bake them in a Monterey Jack sauce. Tonight, it's it's. This is a lot of fun. I love to do these peppers. But also tonight, we're going to make a a, a tofu that. A tofu dish that's um, was inspired by, uh, actually I was making vacation plans. I was going to go to New Orleans and naturally I thought Cajun cooking, Paul Prudhomme, blackened redfish, and uh, also at the same time mint and cilantro were going crazy in my garden. So I decided to combine um, more or less a, a Thai sauce with a blackened tofu dish and it came out really good so uh, I'll do that later on but first of all I'm going to show you how to do roasted peppers and and this stove gas stove we just take the peppers right on the flame it's a great thing if you have an electric stove what you want to do I can get this one to sit still what you want to do is Get your broiler, okay, turn your broiler on, put the peppers right as close to the broiler as you can get them. And as the skin turns black, okay, you keep turning the peppers, and that's the, the electric stove method. You can't put the peppers on the electric burner. Um, if you have a grill, a charcoal grill, or a, um, uh, what do they call that? What's a LP gas grill, you can use that. You know, fire that up, put the peppers right on it. As they turn black, as the skin turns black, see, this is uh, already starting to get black. And what you want to do is just char the skin. There's a jalapeno. Jalapenos are tricky because they're small. You just have to hold, hold the pepper right in the flame, basically. So what I want to do is just get the skin blackened, okay? And the pepper will roast itself. You don't want to burn the flesh. But... Since this takes a while, I have some, and I've already done, and you can see, right, you can see how they've, they've already cooked, right, I steam them, I set them in this bowl with a cover, and then I let them steam, and uh, they're just beautiful, this, this is a lot of fun, I love to do this, we do this every year, when the peppers, chilies of all kinds get ripe, we buy cases and I have this whole stove, six burners going full of peppers, and um, this is one of the things I really love to do. It's a lot of fun. It's always, always exciting. It's always new. Okay, so while those are roasting, I'll start the filling for these, and I get my saute pan, a little bit of canola oil, okay? You can use you can use clarified butter, olive oil, whatever you like. Um, I use a canola oil for this. It's a, it has a real mild flavor, so the flavor doesn't interfere with the uh, the seasonings. Get that good and hot. Okay, while that's heating up, keep turning these peppers. See how they get? It's beautiful. This is this reminds me of um, when I was a kid in the fall in New England. On Saturday, on a nice Saturday in the, in the fall, all the guys would rake their leaves and they'd rake them out into the street. And then they'd start a little fire and they'd keep raking the leaves into that little fire. They'd burn the leaves all day. And sometimes when you're doing this, it has a similar smell. The aroma of this is great. All right, so I got my pan heated up. And I have some corn. This is frozen corn. If it was September, I'd be using fresh corn and cut the kernels off, some scallions. A little bit of cooked, cooked basmati rice. I always use basmati rice. I, it has a superior flavor. It's just a, it's just a better, better rice. For whatever, whatever rice dishes I'm making, I always use basmati. It's just, a, it's just the rice of choice, as far as I'm concerned. 
See, blackening up, nice, beautiful, these peppers. Okay, I got my oil hot. It's almost at the smoking point. And I'll add the corn and the scallions. Okay, corn and scallions, stir those up. I also add a little bit of cumin. Be sure when you're doing this to add just exactly the amount that I'm adding right now. Very important. A little bit of salt. Actually, it's not important. I'm kidding. A little bit of lime juice, okay? Tiny bit of lime juice. Okay, saute that. Let the onions cook. Green onions. Now, as I'm cooking that, we're turning these chilies, which are just getting nice and Look at this, blackening up beautifully. Okay, now, this is, add the rice. And this will be a filling. It's more or less a southwestern dish. But it has a nice color, even though this is gonna be inside the peppers, you won't see this that much, but this has a real nice, color to that. Okay, that does not have to cook very long. Just as long as the scallions are wilted, the corn and the rice, the rice is already cooked. So you're all set there. Now, I want to show you how to peel these peppers and clean them out. And we'll try to get one that um, remains whole. Okay, and we can use it for stuffing. So, I'll lower the heat here and let these guys continue to roast. And then we'll come over here and we'll do work on the work on our peppers. Delete.